What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the OtterBox Defender case for the Samsung Galaxy S10e. Now before I start off, I want to say I'm not, not sponsored by OtterBox or anything, but the Defender Series case has been one case that I've gotten for every single smartphone that I've had. Ever since my first flagship phone, I've always gotten the OtterBox Defender. They've just been what seems to be the best defensive case. Um, just a really rugged, reliable case. You can find them online for a very wide variety. I remember way back when these things used to be like 60 bucks each. It was pretty crazy, but um, I actually picked this case up brand new from Amazon for like $19, which I was so surprised to find it that cheap and definitely worth the money. Looking on Amazon right now, it looks like a brand new one in black is $50, which is crazy. You guys are going to have to answer if it's worth $50 to you because for me, I probably would not, depending on the scenario, because this is pretty much the only case I got for this phone other than a waterproof one. So I'm going to be using this phone every day with that case and um, I probably with that in mind, would have purchased it for $50. But uh, at $50, it's a little bit harder to justify the purchase, that's for sure. You can find, like this one is the case only, which means that it comes without a box, and it's $21, so that's not a bad deal. This one's only 10 bucks. Again, that's just case, case only. It looks like it does come with the belt clip, uh, but for 10 bucks, I mean, you guys can find these around for cheaper than $50 for sure. You just might have to be a little patient because right now, like I said, 50 bucks for one. That's that's a little steep. Uh, but if you're planning, if you're if it's really important to you to have protection and you're gonna be using that case a lot, then 50 bucks is probably worth it. So let's just take a look at this packaging real quick. So designed for Samsung. Defender series, it says right there, rugged protection. They were established in 1998. Uh, this is the screenless edition, so it doesn't have that annoying plastic screen protector over the screen, which I actually, in the, I don't really think they've been making the Defenders with those screen protectors lately because I don't think anyone really liked them. Uh, everyone puts glass screen protectors on them now, so I remember when I did have the Defender that had those screen protectors, I would pull that plastic out so glad that they don't come with that anymore this review is kind of be kind of a general review for the defender series in general not just this phone but all phones and um, you can see right here in the corner drop protection plus on our box it doesn't say anything about military grade or does it let's see no it doesn't I've seen people drop these from extreme heights on the concrete and um, had very minimal damage or kept the screen from cracking so these things have been really impressive but the this just slides out the belt clip is usually put in there and underneath on the back of this card is a just a installation guide so these have a limited lifetime warranty and you guys could go through and read all this. I definitely don't want to do that. Here's a cool little note on the bottom of the box saying that it was designed for Samsung. All right, so here's the belt clip. Pretty simple. Snaps in there nicely. It's very, uh, very tight fitting, not gonna fall out. You got this, which can lock open, use it as a stand. This also rotates all the way around and then releases and you can just use it like that. This also is important to note right here. You can kind of see the profile of it. It's got a little hook. So when you put this on your belt or something else, it, it doesn't fall out easily at all. It really hooks on there, especially a belt. So let's look at the case itself here now. 
But as you can see, I have a glass screen protector on my phone, which fits perfectly with the case. You can see there's just the slightest bit of gap between the edge of the glass and the case, so there's enough room for that glass. One con about that though is that you get, um, especially up in this earpiece speaker up here, you get lint and just like dust from inside your pocket. That's kind of hard to wipe out of those little crevices, but if that, um, you just kind of got to let it not bother you or wipe it out. It's not a horrible thing, but it happens. Looking at the edge, this is, these two are the clips for that belt clip, so you can actually put it in either way, and it'll clip in right there really securely. Um, fingerprint sensor works just fine with the case. You can see there's a very large cutout that just allows you to get your finger in there easily. Maybe if you have a big finger, it could be a little harder, but I still have quite a bit of room to move my thumb around in there. So, nice cutout for that on the top, cutout for microphone. So your volume up and down are raised and pretty firm to press in. They don't, it doesn't click all that much. You can definitely feel a click, but it's not, it's not a kind of click that you can like hear. It's just, um, it's, it's rubber, so has a nice press to it. And then same with the Bixby button. Going down the bottom here, there's your cutout for your speaker and microphone. You can kind of see it right there. There's a little plastic bar that separates the speaker from the microphone. Don't think that really does anything, but probably gives it a little more ruggedness. And then these nice rubber flaps over the ports, which are actually not hard to pull out because the, the last OtterBox Defender case I had on my iPhone 10R was really hard. I had to actually cut these little knobs off the end so it wasn't so hard, but it was so hard to get, get it to pull out. But these ones, I don't have that problem. So aux port, charger port. I haven't had any problems with the cutouts being too small for the plugs. So no interference there. I like having these flaps to help keep like lint and dust and things from your pocket and from dropping on the ground, getting inside those ports. It's actually a really nice thing. The back of the phone is, well, the, the hole. So you can see this texture here on the side, on the edges, that gives you a little bit extra grip. Uh, but this whole case in general is pretty grippy. It's Definitely a thick case. It's going to add thickness um, in all dimensions to the phone, which could be a bad thing. The Samsung S10e is a small phone from the start, so having this bigger case is not a problem at all. But if you have a really big phone and then you put a big case on it, it's just going to be like a brick. That's how my iPhone X, uh, 10R is with this case on. It's like a brick. But um, but like I said, a really good case. It does when you're when you have like tight jeans or something. This kind of rubber texture on the outside does snag more. And you know when you're pulling the phone out of the pocket, sometimes it'll pull your pocket inside out, or just putting it back in the pocket is a little hard. So that's always one con to these Defender series cases. But I feel like it's honestly gotten better. They're not quite as rubbery grippy as they used to be a good cutout for the cameras nothing interferes you can still see some of the color of the phone i like i, I like this cutout actually because you can see the color you can see the side of the phone it's just a kind of a nice thing to be able to see i love that blue color um so now i'll show you how to take the case off you want to just it's a three-piece case so you gotta get your fingernail up under here. Oh, come on. Right there, like that. And then start pulling this out because this rubber is in a groove on the edges. And so you just wanna pull it out of that groove all the way around. 
corners are kind of hard. It's definitely not something you want to do every day. And then you can get that out. This is the rubber part. Pretty basic. There's not really any texture on the in inside walls. So that's the outer shell. And then you get this plastic plastic casing that snaps around the phone. And this is really hard, um, really kind of annoying sometimes to get off. So you can see these arrows. Those tell you where all the snapping things are. So that's all the places that you got to pry out. I usually just get a fingernail under there and try to pry it. It's never really fun to do. But once you start once you start to get it pried, uh, you do want to be careful because I have broken these things before. If there's two left like this, you don't want to just pry it out. You still want to try and get your fingernail under them and separate it. And oh, come on. Gosh, it's always the last one that's so hard to get out. There. Okay. So, now we got the phone out. You can see the back of this case. All the OtterBox Defenders have this. It's kind of a weird, like, it's like a foam. It, it's interesting. It's like almost like a memory foam. And it's a really thin layer, but it seems to help a lot protecting not only the back glass of your phone getting scratched, but also just, um with the drop protection and then this is the top part this part's a little more flimsy um, pretty simple honestly not not too bad of a case and I like to take my phone out every once in a while clean the phone because you can see dust kind of dust and dirt kind of gets around the camera there and just the areas um, like right there on the speaker you can see these areas are nice and clean because it's got that rubber flap, but the speaker does not have a flap over it, so you get a little bit of dust there. But um, overall, it does a really good job protecting your phone. So to put it back together, simply set your phone in this back piece, pop the top on all the way around, make sure each one of those areas snaps in, and then put the rubber on, and then get that get those that edge in the in the groove pretty simple there's instructions and that's it for this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more if you have any questions that i didn't answer comment down below i'll do my best to get with you thank you for watching i'll see you next time